Alright, this is the Algebra 2 Practice EOC question number 38, and it says Sharon owns stores in both Memphis and Nashville. Of course, since this is a Tennessee EOC, we're going to have two Tennessee cities. Okay, uh, The number of years of experience for the managers of her stores in the two cities are listed below. Okay, So they listed all the Memphis values and they listed all the Nashville values. So of course, they want to compare the information. It says which statement about the two sets of data is true. Okay, So before we kind of go on and try to figure out some of these things about this problem, what I would probably do is I'd probably figure out what the problem wants us to even compare. You have the median here, so we're probably going to end up having to compare medians. You see standard deviation here, which is probably something else that we're going to have to compare between the two uh, cities. You have mean here, which is something else that we have to compare. And then you have the interquartile range that we're also going to have to compare. So that's four different things that we need to know about Memphis and Nashville in order for us to be able to answer this correct this question accurately okay so I'm gonna show you guys a really easy way to kinda of plug all of this information to your calculator that will help you solve this problem a whole lot easier okay so if you notice what I've done already I kinda of cheated a little bit forgive me I went ahead and I plugged in all of my Memphis values into my L1. So I have 8, 8, 10, 10, 16, etc. And I've listed all of those values in there. Okay? So what I'm going to do on my calculator, I'm going to go ahead and slide this over here. Now that I have those lists entered, I'm just going to press stat. I'm going to slide over to calculate. And number one, option one is first variable statistics. Press enter. Enter and it's going to calculate my stats or my variables or my numbers for my first list. One thing that you can check here, it says n equals 11, which means that we should have 11 values in that first list. And if you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, you're realizing that it is talking about that first list of Memphis. Okay, So I'm going to go ahead and write Memphis, and then we're going to write down some of those statistics if we can. Okay. Wow, that was pretty pretty cool there. I'm going to go ahead and write Memphis. And then, like I said, we're comparing our median. So I'm going to write MED. Our standard deviation. Our mean. And then our interquartile range, which I'm just going to write IQR. Okay. Well, the median... Oh, well, sorry. The mean, this x bar, <laughs> is what the median, what the mean is going to mean in this stat table. Okay, so x bar is what your mean is. So our mean is 16.5. Okay, so our mean is 16.5. All right, our standard deviation is denoted by sigma here, which is which is this symbol right here and our sigma is going to be 6.1 alright if we slide down on our chart here on our calculator press the down arrow you'll see MED which means your median our median is 19 and then you'll see our Q3 and our Q1 well our Q3 is 22 and our Q1 is 10 the way you can figure out what your interquartile range is is by subtracting your 22 and your 10 so if you subtract 22 minus 10 you'll get that your interquartile range is 12 okay and then your median it's just 19 because again it just told you what all of your values were okay well now that we have all of our values for Nash or for Memphis we need to get all of our values for Nashville okay so I'm gonna go ahead and write that over here on the side and write that we're trying to figure out what our values or our data points are going to be for Nashville okay well now we need to plug that same thing into our calculator what I did was I plugged in those values into list two. So when I do stats here, I have to press stat, slide over to calculate, go to first variable statistics, and I need to figure out my first variable statistics of my L2, which if I press second stat and then slide down to L2, it'll say that I'm trying to figure out 
what my first variable what my first variable statistics are for my L2. I press enter and then it'll give me all of my data points for that one as well. Okay, so we need to go ahead and try to figure out what all of those things are for Nashville. So if we have our median again, we have our standard deviation. We have our mean and then we have our IQR. We can use our calculator again to help us figure out what those are. Our mean is what our X bar is, so that's going to be 19 for Nashville. Our standard deviation is, re is the sigma symbol, okay, so it's going to be 5.6, which is right here. And then again, if you use the down arrow, you'll see that we have our median, which is 19. And then, like I said, the way you figure out what your interquartile range is, is you subtract your Q3 minus your Q1. So if you have 25 minus a 13, you're going to get 12 as your interquartile range. Okay. Well, now let's go ahead and read what our answer choices were saying for this question. All right, choice F. It says the median of the data for Memphis stores, for the Memphis stores, is less than the median of the data for the Nashville stores. Well, that's not true because if you look, both of our medians are equal. They both equal 19. So F can't be correct. Okay, so let's go ahead and sc splash through that one. All right, the standard deviation for the data for the Memphis stores is greater than the standard deviation of the data for the Nashville stores. Well, we're looking at that. Our standard deviation was 6.1 here, and then it was 5.6. So we're probably thinking that this one is going to be correct. Okay, well, let's keep on looking. It says the mean of the data for the Memphis stores is greater than the mean of the data for the Nashville stores. So if you look at the mean of the Memphis stores, you have 16.5. The mean of the Nashville stores is 19. That is not correct. Nashville is actually greater. So H is not correct. And then J, the interquartile range in the data for the Memphis stores is less than the interquartile range in the data for the Nashville stores. Well, again, our interquartile range for both of these is just 12. Okay, so once you see that both of those are 12, you realize that J also can't be correct, which means that our correct answer here has to be G. I hope that amongst all of my madness and confusion, you guys are able to understand that, and good luck on your EOC.